Hello, dear ones. It's so good to be with you. Rob and I have just returned from Portland where we spent some time with family, and I want to talk a little bit about that experience with you. First, I want to begin with the birth of our youngest child, Hannah, because I'd heard of this phenomenon before and actually had not experienced it with our two older children. I don't know if they had that experience and I just didn't see it, but with Hannah, at, right after she was born and I was holding her in my arms, her siblings came in the room and I saw her recognize them. She saw and you could see, oh, you're that voice. Oh, you're that person. And being with Levi this past week, who's eight months old and is a COVID baby. He's had very, very little contact. If, as a matter of fact, basically no contact with other human beings other than his parents. He had not seen us since November, and he certainly talks to us on FaceTime regularly, but it's different when you're surrounded by a big family. And our family gathered for Sunday dinner last weekend and Levi was a bit overwhelmed because he'd never been with that number of people and you could see him like am I safe here is this okay how how is this gonna work and you could watch him as he decided to get more trusting and more comfortable and you could feel his body relax and you could see him smile more and it was just wonderful to watch him begin to recognize family members whose voices he's heard over the phone, whose voices he's and faces he's seen on FaceTime, but who's had very little contact with him. And why I share this story with you is I was thinking as I was watching Levi and how wonderful it was to be with him and watch him getting to know his family, what it's gonna be like for you when you come back and worship together in the fall. There are new members some of you have never met. There are people who will be taking up places in pews that are going to be new, and there will be those people who you will recognize, who will sit in the same place that they have, all these years and you will just like Levi settle into your body and recognize the precious connection and feel that compassionate link with a congregation of people that perhaps we all tended to take for granted until the pandemic took it away from us and I hope when you gather as a congregation in the fall, that you will look around and you will see the feast that the unity community is and that your heart will fill with gratitude for this tapestry of community that you are a part of, this beautiful, ever-evolving and changing tapestry that glimmers and shimmers with light and promise and that is what you will discover in the fall when you reconvene with a new minister and a new congregation and may we never take for granted our compassionate connection with one another in our families in our communities and in that human to human context that is so precious and that we have all missed so much during the pandemic. So I really love to think of you with those eyes of wonder like Levi had this past Sunday as he looked around and recognized his family. And may the same be true for you next fall.